Another day, another stream. XQC ended today's stream with a positive energy. Something we missed a lot lately. We are happy to see him back at his best. Top down. Okay, so X started off the stream forgetting to restart his computer after installing some new drivers. He drinks his coffee, takes on clear eyes to hide the Sasa abuse. He briefs the viewers about the upcoming Elden Ring tournament later. Short intro, but a very welcome one. Start off watching some LSF without any new hot takes. You know, Aiden is cancelled for the 197th time of his streaming career or so. We had some death controversy, nothing too special. You know, we then get to follow X into the realm of TikTok, where we sat for roughly 30 minutes this time. After that, X stated that he is entering a big PvP Elden Ring tournament that he wanted to win to get some glory and trophies, his words. We joined the boys discord with Mendo and Jesse and started to prepare for the race. After about 40 attempts, he managed to kill Godfrey and were ready to start the race. After a while, a timer started so the juicer and his friends had to farm XP and gear to prepare for the PvP clash. The time was set to about 2 hours or so. The preparation went decent. X had to ask Mendo and chat a lot to know where he should be headed and where he should prioritize his time. It was proof of how the juicer and the juicers sometimes can exist in complete symbiosis. You know, it was somewhat wholesome to see. Okay, so it, it is a 2v2 combat with a time limit of 300 seconds. The juicer's team consists of Jesse and X. And yeah, the first game begins. It started off with uh, Jesse training kills with enemies, so the standing is 1-1, obviously. Jesse then gets chased 1v2, while X says he is coming, while he is basically just hitting air. A disappointed Jesse gets greeted with a death screen, and the score is 1-2. Jesse revives and gets the kill on one of the opponents, it's level again. X then finishes off the other guy, and we see Juicer for the first time in a leading position. Another trade of kills, and X dies for the first time. 4-3 to the Juicers. Jesse then kills another guy, and X dies, but the enemy die for it. It's 6-4. Shadow spamming Jesse carry. X then dies followed shortly by Jesse, X dies again, and 6-7, they lose. It is a best of three, so they will get another shot. It was a close one, this one. Next match, however, also ended in a loss. The morale was low, and X blamed the loss on his gear, as you would expect. He was fuming, and Jesse was kind of sad. Jesse decided to take a break and says that he is basically depressed after the loss. Next match is tomorrow and yeah, we wish the best for the users. X continues to grind and uh, learn some more with Mendo. I feel like X is really trying to become the best at everything he does. It is, it is enjoyable to watch and I feel like him and Jesse could be a dark horse in the tournaments as long as they can overcome, uh, yeah, well, the skill issue, obviously. Okay, so after taking a break from Elden Ring, X decided to watch some videos. He leaves for a minute, then comes back with uh, an Amaranth body pillow and some of our bath water. X appears to be a devoted fan of Amaranth, purchasing her merchandise for such a high cost. He chills with the pillow a bit and then put it in a nice comfy spot in the background. This was one of my favorite moments of the stream so far. It was an unexpected, wholesome and funny moment. Chat was being weird though. Back to watching some videos, more specifically the Linus Tech video with X, we then returned to TikTok. Overall, good energy coming from X, and he's showing a more positive side compared to what he did last week. After that, we have a little food break and watch some SpongeBob. He ate some actually not disgusting looking quesadillas, so yeah, there's that. Jesse then joins the Discord again, and they're looking to play a game, but they are not really sure what yet. Jesse clearly hasn't let go of the loss from before, and is analyzing their play with X. They didn't come up with anything more than that Jesse was the carry and X was inting the whole session. We then entered some FIFA Gamba. X and Jesse then decided to actually play the game. They lose their match with 3-0, but they had fun. They then switch over to play some DayZ with Poke. They play for a couple of hours, but the energy is starting to get low. The servers then starts to act up, and yeah, that isn't helping X mood. They play a bit more, then they want to play something else, and X is practicing some Agario in between. X did, however, scout some games beforehand to play with Poke and Jesse, and he uh, 
has been looking at mount with friends for a while now, so they decided to play that. It's enjoyable to see the trio having fun together. After that, they did some rank doll for a couple of hours actually. They did as awfully as you would expect. X then decided to play some chess and yeah, well, that is always a fun thing to see. It is so back and forth that you can never really predict the winner. After the intense challenge in the chess environment, he actually managed to claim the victory after all. A satisfying victory that solidified the stream as a success after all. And yeah, that was actually the last activity of the stream. It seemed to be just a normal outro, but then... Autoplay came in clutch and started to play Adam's song by Blink 182. And we heard a nice duet between Blink and X. Chat also started to spam I did not enjoy my stay with the emo emote. And yeah, that was pretty fun. It was a fairly short stream compared to what we were used to, especially when it comes to X, but I quite enjoy it and it feels important that it starts taking care of his sleep schedule. X felt happier and had a hunger to perform the next day and did not get distracted by the likes of TikTok and YouTube. We had some fun cameos, IRL donos and the cliffhanger with the Elden Ring till tomorrow's stream. So here is my verdict for the different aspects of the stream. Energy, I give 7. X was giving a lot today. A huge factor is obviously that the stream was shorter, but you can really see why people enjoy watching him so much from today's session. When it comes to activities, I'm gonna have to give it a 6. The activities we had were LSF, TikTok, Elden Ring, YouTube, FIFA, DayZ, Agario, Mount with Friends, Rankdoll and Chess. A good mixture of things and of course there's a lot of activities but there was also a lot of jumping in between different things more than usual I feel like. Of course a huge factor to this is that the stream is shorter. When it comes to interactions I'm giving it a 5. Since it was sitting a good amount of the time in Discord the chat interactions became more limited which is totally understandable but yeah. I'm giving chat an 8. Chat was performing as they almost always do, except for maybe the Elden Ring part where it becomes a bit repetitive with all the I was here, EC and Pog. Highlight of the chat was this comment by Ultra Longs during the Blink 182 song. Guests, I'm giving it a 7. Pope, Jesse, Mendo and guess you can say Amaranth-ish. It was wholesome. Poke and Jesse makes X shine even brighter than he already does, so that's a huge plus. Outro, I'm giving it an 8. A rare outro, one we enjoyed a lot. Only downside was that we only got a bop from X after the song ended, but it was a nice duet and uh, fun interactions during the time. So that will give us an average score of 6.8, which is okay. It's not the best, obviously, but yeah, it's 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 a decent stream. The stream duration ended with 10 hour and 27 minutes ish, which is not the longest, but not the shortest either. Okay, so that was all for me today. Hopefully you enjoy it. And if there is anything that I can improve on, please just leave a comment and uh, I'll see to it. I will try to post these kinds of videos a bit more regularly. Try being the keyword here. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye bye.